you saw President Trump prime for months his supporters to believe that if the election was lost, it only could have been so because it was rigged. But that took time. Just like to build a fire, it doesn't just start with the flames. Donald Trump, for months and months, assembled the tinder, the kindling, threw on logs for fuel to have his supporters believe that the only way their victory would be lost was if it was stolen. So that way, President Trump was ready, if he lost the election, to light the match. And on November 7, after all the votes were counted, President Trump did lose by 7 million votes. But for Donald Trump, all was not lost. He had a backup plan. Instead of accepting the results or pursuing legitimate claims, he told his base more lies. He doused the flames with kerosene. Day after day, he told his supporters false, outlandish lies that the victory, that the election outcome was taken and it was rigged. And he had absolutely no support for his claims. But that wasn't the point. He wanted to make his base angrier and angrier. And to make them angry, he was willing to say anything. President Trump was never shy about using his platforms to try and stop something. He could have very easily told his supporters, stop threatening officials, stop going to their homes, stop it with the threats. But each time, he didn't. Instead, in the face of escalating violence, he incited them further. He built this mob over many months with repeated messaging until they believed that they had been robbed of their vote and they would do anything to stop the certification. He made, the, he made them believe that their victory was stolen and incited them so he could use them to steal the election for himself. This was a deliberate, premeditated incitement to his base to attack our capital while the counting was going on. And it was foreseeable, especially to President Trump, who warned us he knew what was coming. This is what the evidence has overwhelmingly shown and will show in this trial. And it's also the truth.